Hello YouTube, welcome to Fix the Simon channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a drill that works on 9 volt battery and an electrical adapter. So bear with me, I'm going to show you the steps. Okay guys, here's what we need. A soldering gun, a momentary switch, or we can use a regular on-off switch, a 9 volt battery connection like this one, a 9 volt battery, and we have the 9 volt DC motor, and I've got over here the micro twist drill chuck set that you can use from 0.5 millimeter to 3 millimeter drill bits in it. We have over here an AC DC adapter that you can switch from 3 volt till 12 volt and it comes with all these connections over here the cardboard that I'm using from my aluminum foil and at the end I've got this old receiver I'm gonna be removing this part over here because I want my uh, drill to be electric and I'm gonna make sure that it fits in one of my connections from my adapter so I'm gonna be removing this and installing it on my drill so bear with me and I'm gonna show you the steps okay guys first we're gonna measure how far our motor will go so to make my to be able to install our momentary switch so we made the hole for the switch there you go and we make sure that our motor fits perfectly ok guys as you see over here I've managed to remove my connection and what I've done here is I've made a hole next to my momentary switch and that's where my electrical connection is gonna be right here so all what's left to do is connect all the wires and the project is almost complete okay now we're gonna start by connecting our wires I'm gonna start with the motor there you go and now we're gonna connect the wires for our electrical for the adapter connection There you go. Okay guys, we're almost done here. After connecting all the wires, now what's left to do is, if you notice over here, I've added some electrical tape because I wanted the motor to fit tightly over here. So now what's left to do is to install the motor. At the same time, we're going to pull the wires from here. And now the second step, we're going to install our, I'm going to put this in its place. Now the next step is our adapter connection. We're going to also put the wires and let them come out from here. There you go. as you see and now once everything is done we're gonna secure the switch and the electrical connection so now we've got all these wires over here we still have to install this because this project will be working on battery and electricity at the same time so there you go all what's left to do is connect all these wires together and installing them on the momentary switch. Okay guys, so the final step for this project is to install our momentary switch. What I've done here, I've installed the wires from the 9 volt connection and the wires from the adapter connection including the motor. What I've done here, I put all the black wires together that comes from the motor 
from the adapter connection and from the 9 volt and for the red wires I've connected the 9 volt connection with the adapter but the connection the red connection that goes from here to the motor that's where we're gonna install our momentary switch like this over here alright so let's do this and secure our wires here and the job is complete okay so now we're gonna secure our wires okay now that the wires are secured we're gonna put them inside gently and we're gonna put our momentary switch in its place like this now we're gonna try with our 9 volt battery make sure that it's working and it's working perfectly before you install the adapter connection make sure you remove your battery okay it's very very important so you do not have any problems later so now we're going to plug our 9 volt battery and it's working perfectly on the DC adapter and 9 volt battery there you go so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe under fix it simon one word and we will see you next time. And now it's time to try it out. Wow, this is very powerful. <laughs>